At a media briefing, the board's chairperson, Jennifer Kumali, indicated that the board decided to renew Mulunga's contract after a thorough assessment of his performance during the last five years. In the last five years, according to Komali, the parastatal has continuously received unqualified audit opinions in its financial reporting during Mulunga's tenure. The oil company has seen a 56% growth in its revenue base over the last five years, exceeding the $1 billion mark. The company also grew its total asset base from approximately $658 million to $1.2 billion. Mr. Mulunga has the full support of the board and we look forward to growing the Namco, Namco brand together. The board also would like to assure you at this point in time that we are committed to grow the organization within the framework of good corporate governance with emphasis on transparency and accountability. Kumali also emphasized that they have been mandated to operate and manage the $5.5 billion controversial National Oil Storage Facility. The facility, according to Mulunga, will start operations in November this year. Namcor also built four service stations during the last two years with four more under construction. Komali says they want to build 33 service stations across the country by the end of 2024. She also applauded Mulunga for securing contracts such as deal to supply diesel to Husa Mine and also penetrate the oil market in Botswana. Mulunga, on his part, indicated that the last five years have been exhilarating. I want to take this opportunity to thank the board, uh, the newly appointed board under the leadership of uh, Mrs. Jennifer Komali. Um, really from, from my end, I just want to obviously, yes, be appreciative of the opportunity that has been granted to me to lead NEMCO for another five years. Um, it's been an exhilarating journey uh, the last five years. Um, as the chairperson was saying, We've actually managed to achieve quite a lot. We've built a new local brand um, that we are proud of. We have restructured the organization to make it responsive to, to the industry that uh, we operate. Mulunga's new contract becomes effective on Thursday.